Hi Jared, great win today over Palmerston. Um, what was the coach's message leading into the game? Um, I think it was just to do, play the structures that we spoke about before the game, which were um, our tackling pressure. We know we're a pretty good contested team. We just struggled to kind of do the pairing off and on the turnover we, we got hurt against uh, Nycliffe and also against Wanderers we got hurt on the turnover. So to quickly find your man as quickly as possible, and it's pretty basic, but um, it's a lot harder than what it's a lot. It's very hard to do, especially on a hot day like today. But I thought we did that pretty well. We let uh, Palmerston have a bit of a lapse um, in the first quarter, maybe the first ten minutes they got a jump on us. But after that, I think we did pretty well. Yeah, and also, who do you think your better players were today, apart from yourself? Um, I think uh, Willie Farrow was pretty good today. Uh, Marcus Hamilton's always really good. I think. I don't think we had too many bad players. So I think when we have most, you know, when we get at least 18, 19 contributors out of the 22, 23, we're going to win most games. I think that was the case today. Although there's a couple of highlights, as I mentioned earlier, um, I think we played pretty well as a team today. Uh, and Willie Farrell took a hanger, which is always good to watch. Yeah, yeah, it was fantastic. And you guys come up against Waratah next week. Um, what will your focus be on? Um, um, I'm not too sure yet. I kind of, I'll, I'll have a think about that and see what Shannon's got to say but we know Maggio coaches Waratahs and he's an exceptional coach so we know they're going to be structured up well and they're going to play um, with the heart on their sleeve so we'll have a, definitely have a, a tough match um, and saying that I think we'll build some good momentum and confidence coming out today. Awesome and thanks for talking to us and enjoy the win. Thanks, cheers. Eh?